Good evening, Sven the Slayer here once again, and today I'll be going over basic logic. Now, I myself have a redstone engineering background. I've played around quite a bit with redstone in Minecraft, and I have to say, it helps, it hurts. Um, you can't directly relate everything from Minecraft to Star Made Logic, so I'll try and point out the differences best I can. I'm doing this as I'm learning it myself. So, first of all, we have an activator. It's basically your lever, switch, whatever. When you activate it, it turns on the light. Now, what you should know is it all links together in, you know, in a chain. And you're not just turning it off, you're sending an off signal. So if I turn the light on here, now if this was like a redstone lever, you could turn that on, but you couldn't turn it off without s switching it itself. But with this, if I turn this one off, it'll send an off signal, and anything connected to it will also be turned off. That's an important distinguish, uh, distinction that you need to know when working with Star Made Logic, because... I was trying to recreate some uh, circuits I made in Minecraft, and they just wouldn't work because I'd send an off signal, and it would turn things off and not work. Next up is a NOT gate. This simply just reverts a signal from an on state to an off state or an off state to an on state. So this activator is on, and the light is off. So if I turn that off, the light turns on. Next up is your delay. It's a half-second delay. Pretty simple. And now onto the gates themselves. You have an OR gate, which takes any number of inputs, and as soon as any of them are active, it'll turn on. And it doesn't matter if both of them are on. Next up, AND will only activate when all inputs are on. And then here we have, uh, this is something, uh, it's a uh, trigger area controller. Behaves a little differently. You can only link it to the trigger area blocks. So you can't actually link it to a circuit. So what you have to do is put an activator next to it, and then that will link to your source. So when you pass through the area, it flips. Now another difference from Minecraft is in the chains system, that lost, you know, chain logic or whatever, I'm not really sure exactly what to call it, but it's capable of um, doing two-way communication. So if I activate this activator, they all activate. Turn it off, they all turn off. Activate this one, same thing. So this is the easiest way. Um, most circuits you probably get away with just this in controlling it from different points. As long as you have every input into the circuit um, set to be two-way, you can turn it on here and then off over here. So different locations on the ships, controlling doors, uh, lights, whatever. Another thing I forgot to notice, uh, note is you can activate any point in the chain, and you can also output any point from any point. Um, what I've seen other people do is they'd put an activator, so they'd go from the gate to the activator to what they're trying to control, and that's not necessary. It'll make your circuits a lot bigger than they have to be. So, with this, I made a simple door, which you could, well, obviously you could just click the door, but just for demonstration purposes, open the door, close the door, and then I can even link it up here, as long as I go both ways, I can now control the door from any one of these points. And that's a just an important thing to know for future reference. 
that'll be about it for the basics. I hope I explained it well enough. I'm still new at making tutorials, so hopefully I'll get better as I go along, and uh, thanks for watching.